we saw that in 2014, you know, the, the FIFA allowed, you know, yeah. Muslim women allowed them to uh, play while wearing the, the hijab. So we are trying, you know, in our strategy to show that this is not a, a problem. And why should it be a problem in France? Because at the international uh, level, it's not uh, a problem. So using those decisions made by the Olympic Committee or, or the FIFA to uh, justify, you know, the, the consistency of uh, our campaign is, I think, uh, important in order to to win the campaign uh, in the long run. So I think it should be, you know, used in our strategy to say that elsewhere it's not a problem. Why should it be a problem in France? Yeah. I agree with Leila and also I think it's something we are going to use in our favor to wake them up because how could you allow Muslim women from overseas to wear a hijab in Paris but forbid your own Muslim French citizens to do so? And when we go deeper we realize that there is no consistency in the arguments that are used to prevent us from playing. You can, you know, wear legging, you know, under the, the okay. short or something and cover your, your arms if you want. So it was not a problem. The problem was just, you know, the covering the, the head. And sometimes they were saying that you can use a headgear that is not fully covering your hair, but you cannot if it's covering your hair. So, you know, it's not, there is no logic. So I think in the long run, we will win the campaign because it's a matter of rights. It is an unfair issue. So uh, there will be change in, in the future. I'm kind of uh, optimistic. <laughs> Watch out, the hijabis will be there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>